what's up guys welcome back to the channel or welcome back to another video if you're stopping by the channel for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel and while you're at it smash that like button for me i really would appreciate it also hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video if you want up to 15 free stocks Moomoo Moo is going to give you up to 15 free stocks when you open a new Moo Moo brokerage account they're going to give you up to 15 free stocks when you deposit a hundred dollars they will give you five free stocks you deposit a thousand dollars they will give you 15 free stocks guys there's a link down in the description box go open up that Moomoo Moo account today go get that free stock Go get that free money. Three things, guys, we got to get right if we're going to take advantage of the largest wealth transfer in American history that's going to be taking place over these next three years. These three financial behaviors are instrumental and changing the way you think about money. I don't care how much money you make. If you do not have the right behavior with money, you will still live paycheck to paycheck. You will not build wealth and you will be in the same financial spot you are today, three years from now. But if you work on changing your behavior with money by mastering these three financial behaviors, I think you give yourself a chance to build some wealth, to transfer some wealth. First behavior that I want you to work on is your discipline. Why is discipline so important? Well, Discipline is something we develop so that we can put ourselves in a position to win. See, I may not want to do what it takes. I may not want to pay the price, but discipline will force me to pay the price. Discipline will force me to do something that I don't want to do. And why? is discipline so important it's important because in order for me to build wealth i got to get uncomfortable see i may have to do something i don't want to do but i do it anyways because i want the result that's what discipline gives us it forces me it forces me to do something that i may not want to do but i want the result that, that thing I don't want to do provides me. I may not want to delay gratification. I may want it right now, but discipline will force me to delay gratification. Because I know if I delay gratification, I'm gonna have everything I want later on down the road. So discipline is a key, man. It's, it's a key to success in, in every walk of life. I discipline myself by getting out here every morning and walking four miles. Why? Because I want to be healthy. I don't want to be walking four miles every morning, guys. There's some days I get up and I don't want to do it. But I'm so disciplined that I do it anyways. Why? Because discipline has, has, has given me the mindset that, Richard, it ain't about your feelings it's about the result it ain't about your feelings it ain't about how you feel oh I don't want to do it I just want to sleep in no it ain't about your feelings it's about the result you want do you want to be healthy then get your butt out here and get them four miles in that's what discipline does for us guys it gives us a result so in your financial life you got to discipline yourself to live on less than what you make. You gotta discipline yourself to live on a plan. You gotta discipline yourself to stay out of debt. And then you gotta discipline yourself 
to save and invest. You may not want to do all of those things because your, your, your mind and your feelings might say, I deserve a trip. But the discipline is going to tell you, you are, you're broke. If you don't build some wealth, you're going to be in trouble if you hit a financial bump in the road. See, that's where that discipline will kick in. Let's move on to the second financial behavior, which is consistency. Now we've worked on discipline and we're becoming pretty good at disciplining ourselves, kicking our feelings out of it and thinking about the result. That's how we discipline ourselves. Don't worry about the feelings, don't worry about the result. Consistency is repetition. That's what consistency is, right? It's repetition. Because if I repeat something over and over and over and over again, it becomes second nature to me. It becomes a, 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 a new way of life, right? So I, I, I'm disciplining myself because I'm taking the feelings out of it. I'm only looking at the results that I'm looking for. But, but in order for that discipline to really pay off, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta be repetitive. I gotta be consistent. I gotta be repetitive with my investing. I can't be one investment every three months or, or six months or a year. No, I gotta be repetitive every single month. I gotta take a certain amount of money and I gotta put it in investments every single month, guys every single month that's repetition that's consistency because history tells me if i'm consistent if i'm repetitive with my investing over a long period of time it builds wealth so that consistency is important and you know, i like to call it being repetitive so every month i'm repetitive with my investment because i know repetition Typically, in anything you do in life, if I, can, if I can have repetition at it, I get better at it. I get better. I get stronger. I get more efficient. The more times I do it, over and over and over. Repetition, guys. Consistency is nothing more than repetition. you got to do it over and over and over to get that what? Result. Let's move on to number three. Financial behavior, which is patience. Now, this is a huge one for us because a lot of us don't have no patience. Again, we live in an instant gratification society. We don't want to delay gratification. We want it now. And the reason we want it now is that's the way we've been trained. That's the way we think. That's, our, that's the way we, our filter system processes things because that's what's been fed to us since we were babies. You don't have to wait. You deserve it now. You work hard, go get it now. Live for today, don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised to you. See, those are all things people feed us because they don't want us to have any patience. They want us to earn this money and go out and just spend it on frivolous stuff that makes someone else wealthy. But no, building wealth requires patience because you're gonna have to do what? Discipline yourself to get that result Right? You're going to have to be consistent or repetitive so that you can get good at something. Right, we got In order to get good at something and create change in our life, repetition is good. So you got to be repetitive in order to build wealth. And then you got to be patient because it takes a while for the compounding effect and whatever investment you're buying to happen. It could take five years 10 years 15 years 20 years that depends on you but you got to have a level level of patience if we can do those three financial behaviors and become very good at them we will put ourselves in a position at some point to reap the benefits right get to that freedom we all want to be at that's what we will do so all i'm telling you is guys you got to work on these three financial behaviors if you want to get to where you want to get to you got to take your feelings out of it though there is no feelings don't worry about your feelings feelings gonna keep you broke right feelings are gonna keep you broke what you better hang your hat on is discipline slash results right because discipline is gonna get you results and then you better hang your hat on some 
consistency because that's the repetition you need. You got to be repetitive in order to get good at something, right? And you better be patient because you know it's going to take a while for those assets to compound. So be patient. All these feelings keep you broke. Take your feelings out of it. Adapt these three behaviors. Drop me some comments and let me know what you think, guys. I think it'll change your life forever if you master these three financial behaviors. If you want up to 15 free stocks, Moomoo going to give you up to 15 free stocks when you open a new Moomoo brokerage account. Put $100 in that account right away. They're going to give you five free stocks. You put $1,000 in there when you open the brokerage account. They're going to give you 15 free stocks. Bam. Now you got a brokerage account to buy paper assets, discipline yourself, consistency, patience, build wealth. Stop by the channel for the first time. Please consider subscribing. Share the video. Smash the like button. Thoughts become things. You can see it in your mind. You can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. You never stop believing in yourself. Stay healthy. Get wealthy. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.